What is going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I want to talk about former NFL quarterback Jay Cutler. He and his wife, Kristen, I think I'm in Cavallari, I think that's her name. They are separating after 10 years of marriage. No, after 10 years together and seven years of marriage, okay? And this has happened recently. As a matter of fact, I have been hearing over the last couple of months there have been some infidelity going on, you know? And this is something that I think that people might have seen coming. Now, Jay Cutler had a 12-year NFL career. Played for three teams, okay? And he earned about $122 million throughout his 12-year career. First-round pick out of Vanderbilt. Talented throw of the football. You know, he infamously got signed by the Dolphins in, I believe, 2017 after retirement. He was going to do TV, you know? And I think I see why he decided to play. Um, because he even was asked why he continued to play football even though he had sort of moved on from it. And he basically said that his wife encouraged him to play, continue to play football, which is why when I saw this news, I said, yeah, uh, I, I think I saw this coming. Whenever your wife and the mother of your three kids wants you to stay on the road, wants you to stay you know, gone for six months out the year, and even more, if you're in the playoffs or, you know, or if you are training, because some of these guys go different places to train for a, couple, for a couple of weeks or even a month or so before the season even starts, you know, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Why wouldn't you want him? He's been playing for 12 years. You've been together for 10 years. You've been married for seven years. Why would you want him to continue to be on the road? But be that as it may, they have now fully separated. Okay? Now, according to this TMZ article, it says Kristen uh, Cavallari has dropped some sad and actually shocking news that she and Jay Cutler are throwing in the towel on their decade long marriage. Or decade long relationship, excuse me. Kristen just said, with great sadness, after 10 years together, we have come to a loving conclusion to get a divorce we have nothing but love and respect for one another and are deeply grateful for the years shared memories made and the children we are so proud of she wanted to make it clear nothing untoward happened that's how they phrase it untoward or bad happened i guess this is just a situation of two people growing apart <laughs> you know that that that's interesting how you can grow apart from somebody that you were away from for years because they were on the road half of the year and as soon as they retire as soon as you know you have this quarantine going on now you're starting to see that these couples may not be as close as you thought now we're starting to see couples break up we're starting to see people get divorces and I think it's due in large part to the fact they really, they don't really want to be with each other like that. They're cool with each other. They have built a life for, with each other, uh, a family, but they don't necessarily want to be with each other anymore. They want to be with other people. Kristen and Jay met during a Chicago Bears preseason game back in 2010. They married in 2013. They had a son, Camden Jack, who was born in 2012. Another son, Jackson Wyatt. I was born in 2014 and followed by a daughter, Sailor James, born the following year. This isn't the first split for the couple. Remember Jack, uh, Jack, remember back in 2011, Cutler called off their engagement. However, they reconciled and got married in June of 2013. Both Kristen and Jay have been super successful. Obviously, he made a fortune, 122 million, quarterbacking for the Bears and the Miami Dolphins. And she got a reality show, a jewelry company, and lots of other stuff. They were really a fun couple. Notably, Kristen showed. Uh, I'm gonna read it. They they live in Nashville, but they were chronicling their self isolation in the Bahamas over the last few weeks 
with their kids. They couldn't get a flight off the island. They finally went home last Monday. So they've been basically living uh, in Nashville, ten- in Nashville, Tennessee. You know, that's a, I think Nashville is a very underrated place. Very underrated place when it comes to quality of life. Just like Charlotte is. But be as it may. Listen, I've seen this coming. Um, again, once these couples get to be around each other, they realize that they're just better off not being with each other. Now, everything is good now, but what's going to happen when mudslinging comes, you know? There were accusations of infidelity. There was accusations that he had gotten with one of her friends. So we can't overlook (laughs) that part of it, you know? I think, you know, Kristen herself may want to, you know, see if she still got it. (laughs) You know, you never underestimate one of these women, one of these females, despite, uh, you know, being married for a while, having kids, they still think they got it. You can't tell them nothing. You know, she's still, she's, y'all understand, she is 33 years old. Do y'all think she's going to be single forever? Single mom? Don't think so. Usually when women are are ready to move on this easily, they got somebody in their back pocket or purse. Like I said, there were rumors some months back. I believe it was a a, uh, storyline for the reality show that he gotten with her friend, you know? So now this is the part where we are really going to analyze whether this was amicable or not. Okay. Now she says that everything is good. We we just grew apart. There's no problems. But how are the divorce proceedings going to go? How are things going to get divvied up? Is she going to want spousal support? Is she going to want child support? You see. I think everything is good now because they're still probably quarantined together. I believe they're still living together, but they just decided to separate so they can go and meet and deal with other people. This is what I think. I think he's already dealing with somebody else, and I believe she may be dealing with somebody else. Okay, when women move on amicably from a relationship, nine times out of ten, they got somebody else. Because most women who are happy in their situation aren't so quick to get out of it. You've only been married for seven years. Okay, he just fully retired from football. What in 2018? So it's been like two years, or two almost two and a half years since he's been fully retired. And you ready to get out now? <laughs> Imagine if he had retired sooner. You know. So I, this just tells me that she's already has somebody lined up. When women, because the thing is about women, man, when it is always difficult for a woman to move on. When she doesn't have anybody, when it's like an unknown there, like she realizes that she's going to be single or she's going to be a single mother or a divorcee. She's going to be alone. Now, if she already has somebody that she's going to get with, you know, then it's easier for her to move on. Is Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's difficult for women to leave a marriage with a guy who's been successful. Now, again, Jay Cutler isn't making the same amount of money he used to make. I don't know if he's making anything right now, okay? Because she cause she has all these businesses lined up, which he probably helped her with. You know, she has the reality show. I don't know if Jay is going to still be a part of it. I don't know what his income is right now. But, so I think it's easier for her to walk away because, you know, he's already gotten to the pinnacle of where he was going to be. She met him while he was making tons of money with the bears, you know? So I just think that she's at a part where financially she's in a better, well, I say better place, but she's in a really good place. You know, she, she doesn't really need him financially, which is probably one of the biggest reasons why she was with them to begin with, you know? And now she don't need that anymore. She can, you know, she can live a lifestyle that she wants without needing his money or finances, you know? And I'm pretty sure Jay is a proud guy. I'm pretty sure it bothers him that he can't really continue to play the game of football because you see these other quarterbacks who are well into their mid to late 30s still playing quarterback or in their 40s still playing quarterback in the NFL. And I think a part of him was done with the game, 
but I think I think a part of him would still like to be in the NFL because quarterbacks can play to their forties. Like look at Tom Brady and Drew Brees. Even though Drew Brees has a, something lined up for him once he retires, but is he gonna really retire after this season? <laughs> Especially if they play well. But I all in all, I definitely seen this coming. A lot of times, you know, when women have already moved on, when they're already got an eye looking eastward, uh, they're ready to move on and they want you to feel the same way. Have y'all noticed that when women are ready to get out of a relationship, they want to end it as amicably as possible because one, they want to have the option of getting back with you and two, they already have somebody waiting in the wings and they want you to be okay with it, you know? And if you're not, they'll just use the fact you were, you know, messing around to begin with. But I'm telling you, once they go through the divorce proceedings and we're going to see how everything evens out. Is she going to go after him for spouse support? Is she going to want a ton of support? Is she going to want primary custody? Is she going to split custody? I think that if she really wanted to end this marriage on the right note, she should not ask for a dime of spouse support, not one dime of spouse support. As a matter of fact, she shouldn't ask for any child support. The only thing she should ask for is him to pep, go half on the expenses as far as schooling, tutoring, uh, you know, programs that they may be in. Um, you know, they both can split the costs on that. Or if he wants to cover all those costs, he can. You know, he, you know, continues to uh, financially buy them things whenever need be. Uh, do those things. Um, but if she is unwilling to do that, uh, maybe she, because what it looks like to me is that she wanted to be the one to break this news because Jay Cutler isn't this type of guy. He's not a social media guy. You know, if you look at his personality, he's very, you know, laid back. I think he just does whatever Kristen wants him to do. And this is why, you know, she really wanted to do this. She wanted to go viral. And she is. She's trending on Twitter now. Him and her, but mostly him uh, for this, you know. But what's I think the biggest test of the situation to show you how this to show you whether this is amicable or not is the divorce proceedings. Are you going to go after him for his NFL money? Or are you going to do what I think is the right thing to do? Because if you got your own money, you grew apart, you still care about this man, you should not go after this man's money. I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what these um, aspiring level up gold diggers say. You got your own money, you start to take care of yourself. If your kids need anything, he's definitely going to help you take care of that. I have no doubt in my mind that Jay Cutler would do whatever it takes to take care of his kids. But if you're going to still try to go after him to get the house, which I'm, you know, I mean, it's both of your houses. So, I mean, you know, that could be up for debate. But if you're going after him for his NFL money, if you're going after him to pay child, because this has this could get very messy. It could. But we will see.